four ferrets are very different. Each has its own character, quirks and obsessions. Oh, here we go. You might not believe some of the things they do, but luckily I have video evidence. I wonder if I should have told them about the hidden cameras capturing their every move. Where do you stand on ferret privacy? Huh? Anyway, let's spin the ferret wheel and learn all about our floofy friends. Who will be first? Wriggles! Wriggles is the smallest of the bunch, but what she lacks in size, she makes up for in balls. Literally, I'm talking about her obsession with balls. She can't get enough of them. Check out the footwork and the nose work. Look at her go. She has broad shoulders designed to dig, earning her the nickname of Wriggle Dozer not long after she arrived. When she's not digging, she loves to leap. What is it about ferrets and rubbish bins? And she's invented an ingenious way of scratching her own belly. But without doubt, my favourite of Wriggle's little quirks is how she likes to stick her whole face in a bowl of water and blow bubbles through her nose. It's a fairly common ferret habit known as snorkelling. OK, time to spin the wheel again. I wonder who'll be next. It's Scruffles! Scruffles is a climber. She'll climb anything, even me. Hello. What am I talking about? Especially me. Oh, oh dear. Luckily, she's good at going down as well as up. Well, oh. kind of. You're right. When Scruffles was small, she got very sick and I had to hand feed her for months to keep her alive. I think that's why she's so passionate about stashing me, which has to be her most memorable characteristic. I can't Mind you, it's not just me that Scruffles likes to stash. If she can fit it in her mouth, it's basically hers. And with a lot of determination, she'll get it stashed away in one of her many hidey holes eventually. Scruffles has narrower shoulders than Wriggles, but she still loves to dig. She lacks the engineering skills of her sister though. Oops, there goes another tunnel. Much to the annoyance of Wriggles. But sister squabbling is nothing new, right? Wriggles and Scruffles are always fighting. He is mad at you now. <laughs> and although they cause total mayhem when they're awake, they have the absolute cutest cuddle puddles in the sleep box at night. I am so glad I put a camera in there. While they snuggle up in the dark, it's time to spin the wheel again. And who could be coming next? It's Luffy time! Along with his bonded partner Zorro, Luffy came to me from a rescue centre where over 200 ferrets are still waiting to be homed. Sadly, most of them probably never will. They were at the bottom of the pecking order and constantly under attack from the more dominant ferrets. Well, even more reason to get in that. So I knew they had to come home with us. And I knew I had to name them after the anime pirate duo Luffy and Zorro. Like his namesake, Luffy is fiercely loyal to Zoro, and despite the terrible life he's had up to now, he's friendly and very playful. Though he still sees me as more of a treat dispenser than a playmate, he is slowly coming around to the appeal of my neck scratches and lots of treats. Aside from treats, his favourite thing is rubbing his face on the AstroTurf tiles. You can see he's loving that so much. Somewhat less adorably, he is also skilled in the art of Tobin supery. You can't have nice furniture and ferrets. While Luffy wrecks my living room, let's give the wheel one last spin. No prizes for guessing who comes next. It's Zorro! Although the biggest of the bunch by quite a margin, Zorro is an absolute teddy bear. I know you're not supposed to have favourites, but oh, it's so hard sometimes. He was abandoned to the wild and attacked by a badger. That's how he lost an eye. But he somehow survived and was nursed back to health at the rescue centre, where he subsequently bonded with Luffy. Zorro is without doubt the nuttiest of the bunch. I've heard it called White Ferret Mansi, where white ferrets just have this 
way of freaking out that's so extra. He loves bouncing at me and he jumps so high. And he went crazy in the sandpit from the moment he arrived. It is an absolute joy watching him frolic with Luffy in the sand, especially considering all they've been through in life. They're only two years old. And although I've only known him a short time, it's obvious to me Zoro has the kindest disposition. You can tell by the way he looks at you. And when he's run down his batteries, he is the best snuggler. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs>